what it did, what it doing, what it does, and what's going on. This is your boy, The Sound of the Rain, and I want to welcome you to another episode of The Sound of the Rain Podcast, a podcast where you'll witness a man going from making music in his bedroom to becoming the owner of a multi-million dollar brand. I'm your host, Sound, a.k.a. The Sound of the Rain, and today's episode is called, entitled, What's New for Sound of the Rain? Um, today is the 13th of February, it is Monday, tomorrow's uh, Valentine's Day, so a uh, happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there, uh, but what we're going to talk about today is just what's coming up for the brand, you know, I just finished completing uh, I Need a Little Help, uh, which was my song inspired by Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania uh, by Marvel Studios, and that comes out this uh, Friday. So this Friday, well, not to get, I'm, I'm going to talk about that, but you know, that's what's, that comes out this Friday, uh, the visual uh, for it on YouTube. I made like a video for it. And then um, Tuesday, excuse me, Saturday, Saturday the 18th, uh, the actual song will be available to download on your favorite uh, digital streaming platforms and, you know, things of that nature. Uh, so let's definitely go ahead and get into the show here. So... Let me go ahead and keep talking about uh, I Need a Little Help. Uh, very, very uh, glad and um, that, I'm, that I'm done with this song. Uh, not even in a bad way. It just feels like such a great accomplishment. Because when I had the idea, you know, I was like, I want to start making more nerdcore music and, you know, doing more nerd type stuff. And I was like, okay, well, what's the biggest nerd thing coming out in the near future? And Ant-Man and the Wasp was the thing that I could think of. So... I actually wrote the song in an hour, not the second verse, not including the second verse, but it took me like an hour to write the first verse. And then as I structured and completed the song, I was kind of like, because first my intentions were like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit y'all with 16 bars, like a hook and a bridge. And I just kind of felt like it needed more. So I wrote the second verse. I don't remember how long it took me to write that. And then, you know, we had the song um, as completed. Uh... The visual, which was very fun, is pretty much a mess of a bunch of uh, clips from uh, different Marvel movies. Um, the trailer, I used footage from the trailer uh, to Ant-Man and the Wasp. Um, I used footage from the trailer um, from Ant-Man and the Wasp. That The first time I was talking about Quantumanium. So I used footage from Quantumanium, Ant-Man and the Wasp, um, Ant-Man, and then I used a clip from a... a I think the end credit scene in Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel, you know, so uh, the visual is done. And I, and I think it helps to translate the song better on. Um, that's why I decided to go ahead and put it out on the 17th so people can hear the song with the with the video, like the song and then want to go buy the song um, afterwards. You know, I'm going to, you know, market it the best that I can at, at this point right now. Uh, not having the the funds to be able to, to buy ads and stuff like that. I'm really just going to uh, depend on my listeners and the people that are listening to support, you know, to share. Um, I'm going to be pushing it out there. You know, I might be able to get an ad or two. But, uh, but yeah, so that's definitely what's going to be going on. I'm looking very forward to that. <clears throat> so, the first announcement for things that are going to be coming up on uh, What's New with Sound of the Rain is that the show will be going to one episode a week. I mentioned it last week about the possibility, but it is now official. You will get the episodes every Tuesday. Um, I'm not sure the time. I'll tr actually try to have it um, 8 a.m. in the morning, 6 a.m., as, as early as I can on Tuesday morning so that you can listen to it. But, yeah, that's going to be the goal. I was really loving the two episodes but it was a lot of work especially because i would literally record some of the episodes like right before i released them or you know th there wasn't um a lot of structure in my routine and so my plan is now is to set a specific date and time every week to record the episode and then when i record the episode have it submitted and all that good stuff and then you guys get it on tuesday but this also leads me to having an additional episode yes i'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get you guys you know i'm, I'm gonna keep you guys right um, but actually having an additional episode but offer it as a bonus um so something people can pay for so if you're that invested in the sound of the rain and you want to hear more i will offer a bonus episode called sound breakdown 
where I break down the lyrics to my songs and, and talk about the music and the songs in detail. And that will be something that will be subscription based. So you pay, I don't know if it'll be, it might be like a dollar every month or five dollars a month, and you get access to this additional episode. So that's something that, you know, I don't know when that's going to come into play, but that's actually a plan of something that I would like to do. Um, and that's just a way to, to begin to create and bring in revenue uh, for the brand. Um, sound of the rain.com is currently in the works. Um, it'll be a hub for everything that's sound of the rain. Uh, I don't have an estimated time frame uh, for when this will be available. Um, I started working on a, a blog type website for the podcast, and it, it's, a, it's a lot of work. You know, I um, trust me, I would love to have. This isn't a cry out for help, and I'm not trying to be like a woman, and it seems I kind of am trying to be a one-man army, but building the website is kind of tough, so that's going to take a little time, and it's not really a priority. Uh, My priority right now is getting as much music out to, to everybody as I can. You know, that's that's really the main focus. And then as I begin to get out more music and put out more episodes of the podcast, uh, having that website will be more of a necessity, necessity. Uh, but it will be sound www.soundoftherain.com uh, will be the website that you'll go to uh, brainstorm uh, brainstorm. The album is still currently being worked on. Um, I currently have no release date. Uh I'm going to be working on it as I work on other projects. I, I do have um, a few things that I'm going to mention. Um, and those are things that are going to be working on during the year. Uh, everything that I'm speaking of today, I definitely would like to have uh, released and available uh, this this year. So taking the time to work on that um, during those. I, I, if, I did, if I wasn't working on those other things, I could really see it being completed. By April, and there's a possibility it still could be done by April. As I'm working, I'm beginning to get more streamlined in my process. Uh, even with the mixing, you know, I, I see myself uh, building a system. I found a, a guy, uh, I, I, at least I assume it's a dude, that I uh, follow on Instagram, and he's got a bunch of uh, tips for mixing and mastering and uh, he offers a book, and I'm definitely going to buy the book because it is a wealth of uh, excellent information. As a matter of fact, um, I learned some stuff that I that I used, uh, implemented in the mixing and mastering of uh, I Need a Little Help, you know? So uh, I'm, I'm definitely excited about getting faster at the process of mixing and mastering. Um, so the next song that I'm working on, as far as like a nerdcore song, um, is a song called uh, What You Want. That's a tentative title. And it's going to have like a rock kind of vibe to it or a rock influence song. Uh, but this is going to be inspired by the um, DC Warner Brothers movie Shazam, uh, Fury of the Gods. Now, I just want to make it clear. Because I'm making songs about these movies, or if I make songs about a game, or some, you know, something fictional, it doesn't mean that I'm like a, a fan of it. Like, oh, I love Shazam so much, I'm going to make a song about it. No, it's just... Like I spoke on that one episode, you know, as far as the, the marketing ability of it, you know, it's something that people might be interested in or looking for. Uh, so when the movie comes out, there'll be a song out, you know, people can hear it. Now, I will make um, music about things that I am interested in, like, uh, for instance, uh, Demon Slayer, uh, the anime. Um, I'm definitely going to make a, a Demon Slayer song. Um, I'm going to make a, a Last of Us song. You know, so those are things that I'm interested in uh, that I definitely will be making music related to. Uh, but I'm going to be making a Guardians of the Galaxy 3 song. Um, Street Fighter 6, that's something that comes out this year that I'd like to make a song about. Um, any, Pretty much any nerd type songs that I can think of. Uh, DC's The Flash is up in the air. Um, especially, I just got some, you know, and it's awesome, man. Shout out to my, my bro, Shaman. You know, we were talking about this at work. You know, just some kind of, kind of concern, some concerns we have regarding that movie, and uh, you know, some of the actors, Ezra Miller, in specific. You know, and regarding that, and just kind of uh, taking a stand on it. And so, I don't know if I'm gonna make a song about that movie. Um, so that's maybe if that's something I can get into or talk about on a, a later episode. 
which sucks because <clears throat> I would definitely rap fast on that song. And rapping fast is something I'm a huge fan of, even though low key, I'm starting to get sick of sick of it from hearing like everybody do it. Um, unless you're like, you know, one of the OGs or somebody has been doing it, but you know, I digress. But yeah, so a flash song would definitely, definitely uh, be fun to do. So even if I don't do it for, you know, to promote the Flash movie, um, I definitely can do a song, you know, regarding the Flash, uh, you know, something that, you know, have a little bit of a, a speed flow there. Um, this next thing that I'm going to mention is definitely something I'm excited about. So um, I have a good friend uh, named Nick Adams, and he's an author, and he has written a trilogy of books um, called Xanthia. And Xanthia is this world that he's built. Um, if you're into to fantasy, um, to dragons, you know, wizards, uh, that type of lore, like, you know, The Witcher, um, Game of Thrones, uh, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, Lord of the Rings, that type of stuff, medieval. So I'm, I'm all about that. Unfortunately, I'm not much of a big reader, like at all you know and that sucks because you know that's my bro and i want to you know support his work so i'm actually i'm actually working on reading um i've read a good chunk of the first book and i've loved it i've loved everything that i've read um it, it's not it's not it's not the quality of the work at all, at all it's just it's just me as far as just reading period so um i'm working on reading uh book one um, so he sell, he has a, the most recent release he's had is all three of the books, um, put into like one book, like a set. And so currently I'm reading, um, book one. Um, I want to say it's called, it was called Adonai's Prophecy. Um, when it had a subtitle, I, I can't remember, but that's the one that I'm currently reading. So I'm working on something called, uh, Project Xanthia. And what projects are the Xanthia project? And what that is, is it's going to be a collaboration between Nick Adams and I. And it's essentially going to be um, a way to to promote and market his book. So uh, with the idea, I have three songs that I like to do um, that would be themed um, around Xanthia. Um, I would work with him to make sure that the content was correct, you know, continuity. Um, I'd want to make sure that he he approved of the songs, uh, that he liked them, that he's loving the vibe. Uh, and so in addition to the three songs, um, I would like to do an audio reading of at least one chapter of the book. You know, so I, I would put it on my YouTube channel and break it or, or his channel and break it up into... Uh, pieces, but it'd be like one chapter, and it, and it might be more than that. Um, and then, in addition to that, uh, I would interview Nick. I plan on interviewing him um, more than more than one time, more than two times. Uh, but in regards to during this particular project, you know, I would interview him, have him on the show, and speak specifically about uh, the book and. Uh, things that we haven't talked about in, in the previous interviews, you know, at that point, uh, I would want to do a giveaway uh, for the book um, autographed uh, by Nick. Um, I'm not sure how that would be done, but to be able to send out a copy of the book with his autograph on it, you know, um, working on some ideas for some uh, Instagram and Facebook ads. And, you know, because I marketing is something that I want to work on and get into and this is a really good friend of mine that I'm, I'm really uh, proud of him uh, for his, his work and confident um, in his in his product and his art. Um, and I just believe it's a matter of people needing to hear it. And in this day and age, everyone is so visual and so, you know, gimme, 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 instant, 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 microwave, microwave. It's almost like how do you get someone's attention to read a book? You know, if, if you're not already an established person, if people don't already know who you are, how do you get them to pick your book amongst other things? So I want to do what I can to support my brother and um, his book, Reaching the People and Reaching the Masses. Um, he's been a very, very integral part of uh, Sound of the Rain. Um, whenever I put songs out, I send them to him and he'll listen to them first. 
and he'll give me feedback. You know, he keeps it a hundred with me. Um, he's, he's encouraged me. He's giving me suggestions and feedback on stuff. Um, really, man, he's, he's been, he's been the most, you know, uh, outside of my wife, he's been the most supportive person, um, as far as this whole sound of the rain thing. And I, and I really, really, truly appreciate him. Um, and I guess talking about that kind of brings me to the next, one of the next things coming up. This might be kind of a short episode, but y'all getting a bunch of information. <laughs> but um, having guests on the show. Uh, so I've actually got a few guests lined up, um, Nick being one of them. Um, and what I'm trying to figure out now is, because the whole the whole thing of the show is, the building of, of my brand and I'm, I'm building it in public and, and sharing with you and documenting with you, uh, what's going on. So I'm trying to figure out how will I integrate these guests into, into that, you know? So once I figure that out and then figure out, you know, how I can, <laughs> how I can do the interviews, uh, you know, remotely and online and stuff like that. Um, That'll be something figured out, but it's definitely something that's coming in the future. Uh, so, so definitely look forward to it. Um, I've even spoken with my my boss at work, and uh, she's agreed to be on the show. Kristen, if you're listening, I- I'm gonna hold you to that. Please believe it. <laughs> but uh, and um, one more thing that I have going on uh, amongst all these other things. It's just, there's a surprise collaboration um, that I definitely have coming uh, in the near future. Uh, I don't know if it will be this year, uh, but it, it, it is, it's definitely um, it's definitely something something big for me. Uh, it's a dream come true. It's it, it actually I don't think it was ever a dream like because it's never something I thought would ever ever be a reality or or, or, or just. An, op- an option, especially with my age and just like, I don't know, it's not me being pessimistic, but just me being realistic. Um, but yeah, and it's going to be, I- I'll say that it's going to be insane. That's, that's, that's all that I'll say. So, um, you know, God willing that happens. Um, if it doesn't happen, even just the, the opportunity uh, for it to happen is, is, is very flattering and means a lot, but um, as time progresses, y'all y'all get more information on that. Um, so, one thing I was actually going to end the show, but I do want to. I did get an email about my um, my Apple Play um, numbers, and so I want to. Uh, <laughs> I want to get a uh, get a recap on that. So this is for the third of February to the 9th of February. Um, I had two plays and ironically I had one Shazam. So what Shazam is, is that whenever a song is played and like, I guess you can hold your phone up and your phone listens to the song and recognizes it. And so the song that that was done for was a song called, uh, crazy world. The song I did, which was, a, uh, a tribute to crazy bone and bone thugs and harmony. Which is funny because I don't even have the song on uh, streaming services. I actually went through the process of putting it on them. I uploaded it. I went through all that. And then when I realized that there was a sample in the song, um, I went ahead and had it pulled. Because I didn't want to. And I swear, I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. I've been tempted. I've been very tempted to just go ahead and drop the song. Um... And then if I heard from whoever it was, uh, they would say, hey, take the song down. You know, I would. Or I I just don't, I'm not really business savvy on those aspects of the industry. And I'm not trying to, like, ruin any opportunities before myself, before they get, ruin ruin any opportunities for myself before they get started. So I just wanted to, um, to, to avoid that, you know, at all costs. But... I've been very tempted to just go ahead and drop it, put it out, and, you know, it is what it is, just so people can listen to it, you know. Um, I don't even think Crazy has a copy of it. He probably would have to, uh, if he listened to it, he had to listen to it on YouTube. 
Um, but it's available to download on SoundCloud. I will, matter of fact, I will leave a link in the uh, in the show notes to be able to um, download uh, the song for free off of SoundCloud. Um, I do have exclusive right, rights to the beat, but there's a sample um, in it. I believe the sample is the the, the, the person saying, the world, world going crazy. And the producer, um, Verbal, uh, who's ironically, he's from Ohio as well. Um, he wasn't sure uh, what the what the sample was from. And so he had to go back and like look and try to find out. But I haven't heard back from him. And so, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, so the two songs, I got two plays, and both of them were for a song called My Plea, um, which is a song that I did, uh, which was a very personal um, song that I did that addresses and talks about my my struggles with uh, being overweight and obesity. And uh, it's a great song. If you haven't heard it, I'll put a link in the show notes to it. Um, it's available on all your streaming services and digital stores. Uh, definitely, definitely check it out. Um yeah, I like that song. I love it a lot. But um, I want to do a call to action. Make sure that you pre-save and pre-order. Um, I need a little help. Um, you can pre-save it for Spotify at no charge. You can pre-order it from iTunes at no charge. And then once the song becomes available on the 18th at midnight in your local area, uh, it will charge you $1.29. Please make sure um, if you support me, share the song um you know if you see me tweet about it retweet it uh definitely uh oh yeah as far as when the visual comes out on friday so at 12 15 p.m eastern time is when the visual comes out on youtube it's going to be a live premiere so i will actually be on my lunch break and so i'm going to be in a chat on youtube live chatting with you all um, as the song is, as a video, the song is playing for the first time. Um, if there's nobody in there, if there's just me in there, if there's one person in there, you know, I'm still going to be in there hanging out. Um, and then during the duration of the song, I'll be talking. I don't know if after the song is over, I'll still be able to chat or if it cuts off. I'm not sure how that works, uh, but definitely check that out. And then on the, the following day at midnight or that night at midnight, you can download the song. Um, so I definitely, definitely uh, would love for you to interact with me um, and be able to hear from you. So that's going to be it for the show today. Uh, this might be kind of a short one, uh, probably the shortest uh, episode because I didn't do a lot of lollygagging. Um, I had the most show notes, but I got straight into it. Um, so thank you so much for tuning into the show. I truly appreciate it. Until next time, sound of the rain out. Peace.